Hi everyone, I'm Lim. So today's topic is about charging IC. Until today, charging IC problem is one of the common iPhone motherboard repair. Don't worry, this problem it won't be appear without a proper reason. They're usually damaged by something, especially the charger is not original. Okay? The adapter is overpowered. I will talk about this in end of the video. So let's stick back to the charging IC part. There's many beginner okay, when the phone cannot be charged, they will just replace the TriStar. TriStar is one of the charging IC. Okay? Because in the whole charging circuit, there's a few IC for it. Depends which generation. Okay? So today the case I have is 7 plus and I'm going to show you I don't blindly to replace any IC without all of these symptoms. Okay? So I'm going to show you the symptoms one by one. First, no matter what battery he change, still draining the battery power. Let's say now it's 73%, but five minutes ago it should be 76 or something. Okay? It keep dropping. It's quickly drain even the battery is new. Okay. The second symptoms it would be after the battery drain out is is unable to charge back. You only see the charging logo but it doesn't turn on. Maybe it turn on the while then off it keeps staying low. Okay, the third symptom which is the most obvious, he only detects certain of the cable. Okay. So now I'm gonna charge with this cable. See, it is detected and I flip over, change to the other side, this side. It is nothing, okay? Totally nothing. No matter how you move it or you change the charger port, it will still the same, okay? So only one side of the cable, it can detect. This is one of the symptoms, okay? Of course, you can also use the original cable to check again. Now I'm looking this side, it doesn't work. So flip over the other side. Okay, this side it works. So this is the symptom number three that he only able to charge certain of the cable or maybe one side of the cable. Okay. So by having these symptoms, then you are going to check the charging IC. But do not replace it. Okay, until you have a proof, the evidence I show you now. Okay, this logic board is never repaired before. So behind the board in the lower part here, the charging IC and the USB IC, they are on behind. What we're looking at now is this is the TriStar USB IC. Okay? This is the charging IC. So do not expect when the phone unable to charge, you change the battery, you change the charger port, and it will be one of the IC. Okay? It could be one of the components, the circuit of the charging IC. Okay? One of the part is the problem. So this is why I tell you, do not blindly to replace anything yet. Okay, until you have evidence. So you're gonna watch here carefully. Okay, the symptoms number four, which is you connect the power supply and then you give him battery volt. Okay, about 3.8 is enough. You press the power button and you will notice it jump higher. So it stopped at about 200 the DMA. Let me press again. So you see 230, about more than 200 MA. Okay. So again, see. Right, this is mean when the phone is turned on. After it turned on, he is already draining a lot of current. He is taking away the battery power before you use any other function. Okay? So by looking at the power supply, you already know the logic board, the motherboard itself, one of the components is draining power. Okay? Because the normal response, it would be 100 MA or lower. It wouldn't be this high. So let's look at the symptoms number five. 
flip over behind and we use the thermal camera because of the high current okay, the thermal camera for sure can know which component they are hotter than the other so let's look at one of the charging IC the TriStar USB IC this one okay, a lot of people they blindly replace this whatever they cannot charge or maybe they cannot turn on they replace this I only replace it when it show these symptoms let me show you the power supply so if I press the power button do not hold the power button I don't want it turn on just uh, slightly press it okay this IC will heat up until 40 celsius okay so if I continue to turn it on only this IC is hotter okay see all the surrounding no one hotter than him so this is the symptom you see even the rear charging IC of here they are even colder than my finger okay and this IC is continue to heat up when I touch it actually it's kind of like little burning okay 48 celsius this is how I confirm this IC is the problem and this is the time that you are have a good reason to remove it okay I'm gonna turn it off so after I remove this IC I believe the high current will be gone there's a lot of beginner that don't know how to control the heat okay and they will take off this shield in order to change it actually we don't need to just use a proper size nozzle and a proper size of soldering weapons activated so warm up first do not follow my temperature if you are not my student okay this machine is carabit and only they know what need to be done in their machine in order to follow the exactly temperature So now I'm just warming up. Okay, raise up. Even that high heat, no problem. Okay, because the shield is there, he will take away the heat. You don't need to using that kind of big nozzle to take it off. Okay, so that's it. Okay, while the board is hot, you can put some flux and then try to clean off the balls. This is the time that you should use the proper size of the soldering tips. Okay, a small size will be enough. and it need to be hot enough you don't need to use solder wick at all okay. so even you use a bigger size of the solder tip okay, it still can do the job you see you still can enter to take off the bowl you just touch them okay, he will suck up to the solder tip you don't need to flap them all just about average it will be enough and then you replace it okay this is the exact same model of the IC okay okay you install it
Okay, it is done. So this is the part that we replace, okay? The USB IC, okay? Not charging IC. TriStar, okay? The name is TriStar in this generation. Okay, so let's test the current again. Okay, now look at the needle. You see, it only stops at 100 mm, goes up and then come down. It's different. Okay, the first needle where he stops is important, below 100 mm. See, it is below 100 mm and goes up and come down. Is that big different? So let's say if someone interested to see what is the temperature after it turn on, I show you now. So let's look at it again. And this time I'm turning on already. You see? The phone is already loading and it is about like that only and you see this place is not hotter than my hand okay 28 celsius i already pointing at it so let's connect back to the housing and test again so let's try the same cable again this side Okay, he charge the other side. He charge. Okay, unplug it. Use the original cable. Okay, this side. He charge. Flip to other side. It also charge. Okay. okay. Not only we need to know this, we also need the charging indicator. Okay the device that to check the charging flow so let's look at this little box in here okay this yellow cable here is the same cable i plug in now so i plug on it i need to see the charging flow speed okay now it's flowing 0 0.98 okay the current is 0 0.98 close to 1a which is considered full speed and also about the speed, it is really depends on the battery percentage. Because the higher percentage you got, especially 80% and above, it will slow down the charging flow. It is absolutely normal. So we need to check both sides are they having the same speed. See, we got 1A. Okay. They are very close, they are considered the same speed. And not only that, we need to make sure you turn off the screen, it still can charge. Okay. Even the screen is off, it still can charge. Okay. As you can see, this is my SOP before you replace anything. Okay. You need to have a lot of evidence to prove that IC is the problem and then you replace it. Because after you use all that kind of method, you still didn't see the actual problem, then you're going to apply another set of the SOP. Okay. This kind of problem that are usually happen because of two reasons, and it is not by a USB cable. It is from the charging adapter. Especially if you don't know the adapter you are using is original or fake, or maybe you just bought that body adapter. Or maybe you go to the airport or the hotel, there's a USB port on the wall. And you use it without checking it. Because even myself, when I go to travel, I want to prevent this kind of problem. I will use these kind of tools okay, to check the USB port before I charge my phone. Okay? Because there's an indicator to show me how many voltage and how fast it can charge. This kind of tester is not expensive. Right? You can get one yourself easily on everywhere. Okay. For the end user like you, you might think, why the iPhone is like this, man? 
please don't think it so because if other brand of the smartphone usually when it gets damaged the power ic itself will be dead it means the whole phone become dead when they're plugged into that kind of charger just once is enough okay? you can't even to power on at all it is because in iphone they have this kind of problem in before a lot especially in iPhone 4, 4S and more older. Okay, ever since iPhone 5, they built another IC on the motherboard. This IC is the one that I replaced earlier. It is called TriStar. So let's take a look in this iPhone 7 Plus, the one I fixed just now. The charger port in here, the power actually enters from here. Okay, This one, USB 5V. Okay. Once it enters, there will be another small little IC in here, MOSFET the USB MOSFET. Here we have another line that is also 5 volt back to the TriStar here. Okay? This IC. I don't call this as a charging IC, okay? Because the real charging works is done by this one, okay? The TriGris. And this little TriStar in here, they help you to verify whether the accessory is original, okay? Certified. Even he got the line that power up the accessory, okay? So if other smartphone board, usually the power, USB power, directly go to the power IC, okay? And then the power IC got a lot of works. So anything happened to the power IC, the phone will become totally dead. So it doesn't work like the iPhone, he got another extra IC to do the works. So it is really lucky that your phone is still able to turn on. Unless your adapter blow out, okay? But it is still can be repaired. Just send the professional, they will check how bad is the damage, okay? they give you the price. So after you wash all these, okay, as an end user, the customer, okay, I hope you don't just send the phone to tell them to change this or change that. It is because you are misleading them. Okay? Some people that just watch a YouTube and how to change it, they will change it for you. And the problem is still there, or maybe it get worse. So as a customer, you send in, you just tell them, I want to fix this problem. I want to solve the problem. Don't pretend yourself become a very technical guy and tell them what the name of the IC. Hey, don't do this. Okay. If you are my online course student, in semester one, heat control lessons, I already told you our rules number one. Never use coin and thermal tape for any IC. Those kind of things is only for people who couldn't control the heat. Because I forgot to tell you, hey, most of my works, I also don't need to cut the shield. As long you have the same machine, you calibrate as I told you, you will be fine. So I guess this is for this video and see you on the next video. Bye.